Okay, we are back and we've now modeled in our general massing for our exca excavation, um, which is great. So next up, let's uh, do maybe just a little bit of fine tuning on it just to make sure that we have the right slopes and uh, we may just need to take a few, take a look at a few areas that we uh, potentially need to add in some additional shoring. So those areas would be the ones that are substantially steeper than the rest. Um, it's a little tough to see this right now with uh, the transparency turned on. So I'm just going to go to, um, we'll switch to uh, detailed shading. Um, and I'm just going to turn transparency off for the moment. And okay, so that should help us a bit. So it's some of, it's, it's primarily this area right here that I'm uh, worried about with some shoring. So I think I wanna add just a little bit there. I think we will be okay with just stepping down in this particular location. Um, over here, I think we're all right. I don't think we need any shoring here. Um, so overall, I think we have this shape pretty good just except for this particular location. Um, and again, just to kind of reiterate why we can't slope that back, if we turn on our civil as a trace, um, you can see that there's actually a garage right here and the property line is uh, right there as well. So let's go ahead and add in some shoring and then we may need to just kind of carve out the bottom of this just slightly to, uh, um, to make sure that we uh, have it all kind of finely tuned. So, okay, I think I have some shoring in here as part of our basement construction. Um, and so with this, we can, uh, we probably don't need to use that big of a soldier beam, but I'm just going to pick up um, some legging and the beam here and um, yes this is all going on our earthwork which is great and so with this let's go ahead and um, first we'll work on just getting our legging in there so I'm grabbing my beam shoot that did not get picked up why did that not get picked up pick up the beam there we go so it's right in this area and so we could actually just draw this all the way through or we know that most likely these are going to be coming in like maybe I don't know six foot to eight foot increments depends on the size of legging we're using um, so if we go eight feet We can just break these up, spread them out a little bit, and that's that might do it right there. We may need to go just a little further, probably not that far. Let's pull this back maybe to four feet, and let's just take a look at this, and let's try to get this placed in here at about the right location. So, okay, so there is our shoring. Grab these. We're going to drop these down so that we're just slightly above our finished grade here. And then definitely help to have our uh, transparency turned back on. And so now we can see here where we're cutting down to. Uh, we probably need to just take it down right to where we have it shown here. So in order to cut this out, we need to actually go back here. Let's draw in just a line, and we'll do this kind of right in the middle of our shoring here. So um, with our mesh selected, we can just click from right here, take it straight over, and then now with those, we can make that adjustment by just dropping these down. So we drop it down. We'll take this all the way down to bottom of footing. This one in particular, maybe we can raise up a little bit because it's off to the side. But over on this side here, we definitely are going to need to, well, you know what? We got stepping there. So maybe we can uh, not go quite as far um, I think what we need to do is let's add in a working point right there. 
And so we can slope this up just a bit. Oh, let's see, where is it? Okay, we already got that one sloping. So we'll get this somewhere in this range. Let me drop that down slightly. Looking for that working point. Where is... So that didn't add in there quite like I anticipated. Let's try this in 2D. So we're stepping down. Nope, doesn't want to work for us there, so we got to cut into it. Now we can step down. Pull this over. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we got our sloping in here. Uh, we could probably pull this one back a little so that we continue with our slope down. That looks like about a one-to-one. -one. And okay, so we have our shoring in. That's looking good. We can probably make some adjustments on these. We can maybe go Set this to about four feet. We can step it somewhere in there. We'll extend this one out to eight feet again so we just kind of reversed the order there so we got four or eight feet eight feet four feet let's drop some of those soldier piles in there so we get the little better visual on this so we actually have this loaded up in our object so with this drop one in right there we can probably substantially reduce these we don't need 16s we could probably go down to even like I don't know, probably tens, something like this. So again, our purpose here is not to make this perfect, but just to get this close and kind of conceptualize. And then, of course, we can get some feedback from those doing the earthwork to uh, make sure that we are getting this set pretty close. So... Okay. Okay, so I think that should do it for us. said this as existing we can change our plan here and so there we can now see it that looks pretty good probably deep enough there we may need to go slightly deeper on some of these let's go 20 feet so okay with that um, let's go ahead and just check some of our sections here real quick um, so let's check our section in the long direction here. So 
Let's go section two, open with current view. And really the main thing I'm looking for here is we want to make sure that we have our sloping that, um, we'll actually turn this on as solid. We want to be about to a one to one here. So we're at nine foot 36 here. We're at eight feet. So let's go ahead and on this particular edge, we're just going to extend this out one foot in this direction. So by doing that, go back to our section here. And so now we're 9.36, 9.34. So that's pretty close to a one-to-one. -one. I like that. Over on this side here, we're plenty good um, in our sloping here. We could probably actually pull this back a little bit. Um, so let's do that. You can see where we had that kind of jog going on because of the, uh, the change over here. If we pull this over and even that up, we'll get rid of that. So now let's check this and see how we're looking. So once again, we only need to go seven, seven. Right now we're over nine, so that's, that's fine. We can leave that as is. Um, okay, here in the middle. So I know we're going down to the foundations. Um, we could probably leave this as is. We got an extra little over a foot there. Um, so that should probably be fine. We could also go in and just raise that up slightly. I think we have that set to bottom of foundations across the board. Um, and so let's turn this off for a second. We can actually, let's go in and let's turn on our foundation plan so we can see where that is. So it's all through this area here that potentially we can raise this up just a little bit. So in order to do that, um, how I would add this in is I would actually go to our mesh tool here. Um, so we need to get down to the bottom of foundation here. So we can add in a few points. We already have our line over here. We need to get one sloping in this direction, or we need to get this one in. And so now that we're doing this, we're sloping back to this point. We're sloping there. And so now we can actually raise this up a little bit if we uh, actually just go through and trace this out right in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this for the moment, but this is sloping from our footings up to a point that's going to be a little bit uh, closer to the bottom of our slab here. And so this point here is going to allow us to make an adjustment. Let's apply to all. We're just going to go minus 10 feet in this case. And so that should have raised this entire thing up. And so when we look at this, by going to a selection here, we can see that we've now created, and let's turn this back to, uh, here. So we've now created this little area here where we're not going down quite as far. So we're getting down to our foundations here, but we're raising this up a little bit. So let's do a quick check to make sure that we are below our slab. Um, we can do that in our section here. And so there you can see um, that we, yes, we have raised that up just a bit. Um, if we go to like our section A, oh, where is it? Um, section A, 
you can see that, yeah, we're right at the bottom of our slab on grade for right now, which is good. That puts us in a little better position. We don't have to go down quite so far. And so, yeah, that's the little sloping I was talking about there. And here we see it again. So, okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's probably going to save us a few, uh, definitely some some uh, excavation volume that we don't have to take out. And okay, so um, there we go. We've gone through and made some slight adjustments to our... Um, Let's do this after demolition. Um, we've made some adjustments to our mesh now. So we're just a little bit more dialed in. Um, so with this, uh, we'll wrap this video up here. Next video, though, we are going to... Actually, you know what? Something happened here. I'm not liking this section. It seems like uh, we need to essentially connect this line right here so we're sloping back down to it so um, to do that I don't know if we can do it directly from here doesn't look like it so let's go back we're going to have to add in sloping line right here and then now we have that opportunity to shape it down. I'm sorry, it wasn't up there. It was here at the bottom. So we're going from here straight up to here. And let's pull this back just Actually, we'll pull these forward. And so now, that should have evened us out a little bit there. And it did. So... Okay, much, much better. Um, okay, and so of course we could go through and continue to make some additional adjustments here. I think we actually need to drop these down a little bit, get these down to our bottom of our footing there. So, okay, there we go. It's looking much better. We can actually pull some sections through this and just kind of check this as we go. So that's looking much better. That looks pretty good. That looks good, following following our grades. So, very nice. Okay, let's go in the other direction. Delete that cutting plane, pull one through. Okay, so we got our shoring in here. We're sloping down nicely, sloping up along with the steps there. That looks good. Okay, we're up here. We're going just straight across here because we got to get down to this point. So that looks good. And finally, the stepping down to this location. So, okay, so with that, um, next video up, we will go through and do our solid element operations and we will check out our... Uh, volumes at that rate and um, yeah we are getting close after that we'll go through and do some of our backfill which will be you know post um, excavation and um, or actually post construction of our basement and uh, yeah so we're moving right along now um, yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions on this leave it in the comment section and um, next up is the SEO